Greetings chess aficionados, Magnus Carlsen, an iconic figure in the world of chess and the highest rated player of all time, is renowned for his mastery of end games and positional play. Today I presented an extraordinary chess match that adds to his fame, a game where Magnus fearlessly sacrificed both his knight and rook. Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today, Magnus started the game with knight f3 knight c6 c4, Anglo-Indian defense where Magnus can go with g3 d4 or he can choose d4 e3 casual lines, we have e6 d4 b6, Fumetto variation against Magnus Carlsen, black can strike in the center with c5 or d5 in future, Magnus played g3, one might question Magnus's decision to place his bishop on a seemingly unattractive diagonal, especially with the queenside bishop already in play, but his idea is to expand the structure of his center, which is the whole point, so Gaia played bishop a6, attacking to the pawn, e3 move will weaken light squares so we have b3, b5 takes takes bishop to g2, here you can think of playing knight c6, but the bishop is unprotected there so the knight can develop with a tempo, let me show you the variation, castle bishop e7 knight to e5, targeting to the knight and the rook. Knight c3 is a threat to crush the bishop position, you may think of playing d5, try to close the position, but after knight c3 everything will be fall apart, if you play knight takes knight then after d takes e5, you will lose one of your piece. The most important thing is to try and inspire people so that they can be great in whatever they want to do, so back to the position, black played d5 first, castle knight to d7, he didn't play knight c6, because it would block the pawn activity, the ce pawn will advance to break the file by the knight's support, so after couple of moves later we have castle and e4, e5 is coming so black has to capture the pawn, knight takes e4 d takes e4 rook takes pawn. Bishop e7 and here any normal player would move back their rook or they may think of sacrifice the rook because they have seen the stockfish rook sacrifice video, but Magnus played the best move rook h4, bishop e7, here best move for black is to play rook f4, let me show you the variation, rook f4 looks little ugly but in chess, the ugliest move can be a super brilliant move, if bishop g5 happen then after knight takes bishop, queen can't capture the knight because the diagonal is opened. So after takes queen h5, checkmate is coming so h6 knight takes f7, rook can't capture the knight and chess friends, I am giving you a puzzle, what will happen if black plays rook takes f7, tell me in the comments, so queen e8 knight takes pawn, takes check, king has to run, d5, white shots a sniper bullet to black king, e5, takes knight takes rook, king takes bishop and that's it, rook e1 is coming to target the pawn and the king is very much unsafe there. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose, so back to the position, Magnus played rook h3, he didn't find the best move, knight f6 queen to e2, an inaccuracy move, best move was to play rook c1, so bishop d5 rook e1, here best choice for black is to extend the pawn and play bishop b4 but he played illogical move queen b8, for this reason Magnus get a chance to play knight e5, if you dare to play bishop d6, let me show you the variation, then white will simply move back his bishop, so after bishop takes knight. Knight e4 will be a big mistake as white will play bishop c1, queen h5 is coming to target the pawn, there is two perspective of defending the position, if g6 happen then bishop g2 will target the knight with two pieces, knight run away takes takes, queen e3 and that's it, you are gonna lose the game or the knight, the choice is yours and chess friends, if you want to make a best choice then I have a suggestion for you, like and subscribe my channel and you will be invincible chess player. So in this position, if black plays f5, then queen h5 will attack on this pawn, pawn ups bishop takes h6, sacrificing the bishop, g takes h6 can't possible as white will play queen check rook takes check which will be a checkmate, so back to the position, queen e8 is the best move, queen h4 queen slides then we will sacrifice the rook, takes bishop g5, queen d4 queen h7 check king ups bishop f6, rook to g8 queen check, the king is exposed and he have only one square left to go, queen g6 and that's a free bishop, but after queen takes check king here takes king f8 rook h7, position is completely dead lost for black, rook can't protect it because of this. If you're not making mistakes, then you're not doing anything, I'm positive that a doer makes mistakes, 
So back to the position, here we have queen b7, bishop takes d5 and black should capture the bishop with the pawn, let me show you the variation, queen f3 and play normally, if bishop p6 then white will play rook h6, if black dares to accept the rook, then after queen takes f6, this diagonal has the potential to create a critical situation for black, knight can rotate himself to deliver checkmate. So after takes takes, this is a threat, queen b4, rook e3 queen slides on g4, e6, queen checkmate is a threat, so after couple of moves later, white is going to play bishop a3 and checkmate, the king's current position is in a truly disastrous condition. When you have a dream, you've got to grab it and never let go, so back to the position, we have queen takes d5 queen to c2, c5, knight to g4, the f6 knight can't move because of this and here, best move for black is to play h5 by the supporting of the queen, but black played h6, so after rook e5 queen f3 Magnus sacrificed his knight on h6, takes takes, rook g5 checkmate is coming, even the queen can't help black to stop check because bishop c1 will support the g5 square for the rook entry. So king g7 rook check, sacrificing the rook, bishop c1, takes, rook g4 check. King can't go back and also, the king can't go in h5, because rook to h4 will be a checkmate there, so back to the position, we have queen to e3. The most wasted of days is one without laughter, after a couple of moves later, black is going to be checkmated, Magnus played a very amazing and incredible chess game where he sacks his rooks and knight. Some people look for a beautiful place, others make a place beautiful, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.